Hey, this is Bob Allen from Royal Range. Today we're in here teaching the physical part of our active shooter response training that we teach to you guys in defense of your church, your school, your environment where a lot of people are around and where an active shooter um, may come in and try to hurt as many as possible. So again, we're in the live fire range and wanted to show you a, a couple of techniques in here that you may have not seen before. Can I, uh, Army's here helping us today and want to uh, let her be the part of the active shooter for just a minute. So let me, let me put a mag in it, Army with a bullet in it. So she's got a hold to the pistol. Um, she's simulating coming in the door as an active shooter. And if somebody grabs a hold to this and pushes it just slightly out of battery, which means the slide is a little back, then when Army presses the trigger, go ahead, nothing really happens. It just doesn't work. Uh, so we push the, if we push the slide back a little bit, the trigger doesn't actually make the firing pin go forward. If it is forward and you press the trigger, if the slide is forward, the gun will fire. All right, so if it's out of battery slightly when you're fighting over it, the gun won't fire. If it goes forward, it will. We also have an answer for it if it's forward, which we're gonna demo here as me as the active shooter. I'm gonna hold the pistol out. Army's gonna grab a hold of it and show you when I fire the pistol that it won't rip her hand off, doesn't hurt her hand at all. And when that does occur, when she holds on to it like this, or however she would grab it in an active shooter response training or real life circumstance, that she can grab this and hold on to it, it can fire, nothing happens to her hand. The only thing that'll be inside this pistol up in the, up in the chamber area will be a piece of brass. In the lower will be all the bullets that are loaded in the magazine, but they won't feed into the chamber because the slide didn't work. So we're gonna demo that live fire for you and then we'll talk about it afterwards. Putting in an earplug. So, Army, you're right here. So, it's a nine millimeter pistol, one bullet in it. Bullets in the chamber. We're both covered. She's going to grab a hold of it, keeping her hand away from the muzzle, obviously. She's going to show you she can hang on to it as I fire it. You good? Good. All right, here we go. So, show them your hand, if you don't mind. So, she's got a hold of it, you can tell. The slide came back ever so slightly. Let go of it for a sec. Show them your hand, please. Nothing hurt her hand, and look, this is what happens now. Nothing happens. So, the magazine didn't feel another bullet, and the only thing that's in here is a empty piece of brass, which I'm gonna show you now. So when we pull the slide back, there's the empty piece of brass. So again, when we're teaching these active shooter classes, what we want you to know is, if two or three of y'all stacked up at a door on a small doorway and the shooter comes in the door with one of these, if the first person grabs a hold of this and don't let it point at anybody in the room, none of your friends, you can hold on to it and they'll get one shot off. That's all they'll get. Especially like we teach here, if person number two jumps on their back and starts choking them unconscious. So if you've never been choked, um, come here, we'll help you out on that. But I wanna show you what happens, and you know this, when you get choked, where do your hands go? If I were getting choked on the trach tube or by a vascular choke, would my hands still stay on this? No. Your hands would go to here to get the choke off of you. It's the same thing that happened on the train in France. We've done it for years in police work. Our military friends do it all the time. Choking people is not that difficult. So again, the, the technique is we grab the firearm when they come in the door. We don't let it point at our friends. Person number two jumps on their back and puts them unconscious. There are ways to solve active shooters without you being armed. Being armed is better, but there's still another way to do it. If you've got any questions on this, any other self-defense techniques, or training issues you're wondering about, come see us at Royal Range.